All right, good morning. So we are actually going to real quickly kind of go through what exactly DNA is. And this is all module six. So as you're watching this video, um, I do want you to go through your handbook, make sure that you're highlighting the important information that I'm laying out for you um, so that you are totally um, engaged with this particular set of notes. All right, so what exactly is DNA? Um, when we talk about DNA, we talked about it in the biomolecules unit. We talked about it standing for deoxyribonucleic acid, so that DNA acronym. Um, but basically, it's one of the two that nucleic acids that are actually found in the cell itself. And this is your blueprint for life. So every living thing uses DNA as a code for making proteins, which then determine the traits that you have. So for example, DNA is containing the instructions for making the proteins called pigments that actually give your eyes color. So if you're talking about your eye color, I'll try to get to the camera, crazy, right? Okay, so I have green eyes and that DNA is because, or the, the green eyes is actually because of that DNA in your body. So the DNA has a specific order of uh, base pairs or letters within it that actually contain instructions for making the proteins which we talked about in module two called pigments that actually are giving your eyes that color. So if they're brown, you have DNA in your body that says you're gonna have brown eyes. If you have blue eyes, same type of thing. Mine are green, that's exactly what's happening. All right, so when we're talking about the structure of DNA, we've already talked about these things called chromosomes. So remember these, I had the little bags and it had a bunch of string shoved into it. All right, so this right here is a double chromosome and these chromosomes are found in the nucleus of the cell. And remember that we only have nuclei in the cells of eukaryotic cells. Remember, eu means true, so they have a true nucleus. And the other type of cells, those prokaryotic cells, they don't have a nucleus. So think pro means no. So these chromosomes are found tightly packed in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. Now our DNA is free floating in those things that we call prokaryotic cells. All right, so each of these chromosomes is composed of one continuous DNA molecule. So if we're thinking about how exactly small these DNA molecules are, about 25,000 DNA strands can fit in just the width of the hair that you can pull from your head. So think about how thin that hair is and think that 25 strands can make up that width. If we unraveled all the DNA in the human body, we could go all the way to the sun and back a few times, which is crazy. That is a huge amount of DNA, but it's so small that we can't see it, all right, with the naked eye. So each of these chromosomes is composed of this one continuous strand of DNA. This DNA is then wrapped around all these proteins and tightly cooled up in those little packaged up chromosomes. So like I said, remember those chromosomes are only found in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. So prokaryotic cells have a single chromosome that's actually free floating in that cytoplasm. It would be like you throwing spaghetti into a bowl of water. That's what a prokaryotic cell is like. Now, if you pack that spaghetti into a little bag and throw it into a bowl of water, that's what a eukaryotic cell is like. All right, so when we're talking about DNA, basically we're talking about the structure. So we wanna know how exactly it's built what exactly it's made of. So many scientists actually work to determine the source of that heredity. So they wanted to say, hey, you have curly hair. Where did you get that? It looks like your mom has it, but your dad doesn't. So how did that happen? Or say you have curly hair, but both your parents have straight hair. They wanted to figure out how that came to be. So heredity is basically just defined as the passing of traits from one parent to the offspring or from parent to parent and then to the offspring. So Exactly how are these traits passed? So first, the scientists actually had to determine that chromosomes controlled heredity, and chromosomes are made of DNA and proteins. Then these scientists determined that DNA was that chemical that actually controlled the characteristics of the organisms. All right, so then the race was on in order to determine what the structure of that DNA molecule was. All right, so Rosalind Franklin was actually the very first person to take a very clear picture of DNA using a technique called X-ray crystallography. All right, and this picture actually offered a clue as to the shape of our DNA. Then along came Watson and Crick, and they actually received credit for finalizing the model of that DNA. So they used the picture taken by Franklin. All right, it was actually given to them by Franklin's research assistant, and by taking all this work from these other scientists, and they built a model of DNA. And this actually showed that double helix structure, almost like a twisted spiral staircase, that is what DNA looks like. 